So, first of all, basic, so, so you're at home, you're Frank and Mary and you're at home, and you know, you're not feeling great, um, but you're otherwise, you know, okay, but you'd rather have some help, have a little bit of help. Maybe some help uh, doing, doing meals, maybe some help dressing, maybe some things that you need at home. Well, one of the things that you all need to understand, and that Frank and Mary need to understand, is that even though they are at the income level where they are, they are eligible for some programs, right off the bat, not through MassHealth, but through the Executive Office of Elder Affairs. If you call the ASAP, the ASAP, Bay Path Elder Services, is the, is the group that will tell you whether you are eligible. If you call them, you just call them, and, and, we'll, make, and we'll make sure that we put that on the banner. We, we always take these. Um, so that they'll show on local cable and also I just um, started a YouTube channel about two months ago so we'll also upload this program to the YouTube channel so if you you have questions or your neighbors have questions starting in about two weeks you could just kind of see the program anytime you want but but Bay Path is the entity through which you get these programs you can get there are two kinds one is called basic which entitles you to um, through which you can get up to three hours a week of home care. Once again, that's not a huge amount, right? Because it's not meant for people who are desperate for home care. It's meant for people who need a few things. Or you can get enhanced care if you qualify for it, if you can demonstrate that you have the physical needs for it. E either one of these programs is available to you, and I'm sorry that you can't see the small print, um, but if you're making, if you have a gross income, of fifteen to thirty-seven thousand dollars, you will pay a deductible or a copay for that per month of between seventeen dollars and one hundred forty dollars per month. Now, remember, if you were getting, suppose you were getting six hours a week through ECOP for four weeks a month, right? Actually, there are a little more than four weeks a month, so that's twenty-four hours of care. And the average cost of care around here is between twenty and twenty-five dollars per hour if you were going private pay, right? So that's that's so 20 so so if i'm if i'm doing the math right that's 24 times 20 would be about 480 or 500 dollars a month worth of care and that's your possible deductible 17 to 140 dollars per month right multiply that across a year that's about 5 or 6000 dollars worth of care for which you're probably eligible right depending on what your income is and regarding these programs there is no asset tax there is no asset tax. So there are times when you may very well be eligible for some of these programs. What if you are homebound? Now, what does homebound mean? Homebound means some different things for different folks, but for purposes of the Veterans Administration, homebound means, homebound means um, you've given up your car and you're at home. And you don't both have to be homebound to qualify for the veteran's benefit, but one of you has to be homebound. And I'm just going to talk about that benefit a little bit because people, many, of, many folks are not aware of it. If you are a veteran, if your spouse is a veteran, if, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're a widow and, you're, and you're, you're, the, the, the spouse was a veteran, you are probably eligible for this benefit if, the, first of all, if the veteran served a period of 90 days, and at least one of those days was during a period of war, right? The reason why, but, but remember, you know, don't assume that you know what a period of war is. For example, World War II did begin for their purposes on the day that the Japanese attack, uh, attacked, right? But it didn't end until December 31st, 1946, even though we dropped the bomb in August of 1945, right? So everybody who served for at least one day during that period of time and served a total of 90 days total, even if they never served overseas, is el eligible for this benefit. What is the benefit? Well, if you are homebound and you can demonstrate that you, you, you need to be getting some assistance at home to help you out, the benefit can be up to uh, over $2,000 per month if you're a veteran, right? 
or uh, about $1,100 a month if you're a surviving spouse of a veteran. If I recall correctly, Senator Eldridge is the senator here. Am I right about that? Yeah. Yes. Senator Eldridge has sponsored this piece of legislation. It would fundamentally improve people's lives through this program. What it would say, if you were frank in this case, and your income were over $2,130, which it is in his case, his income was $2,500 a month, you may remember, so that would be uh, $370 over the $2,130 per month limit. In that case, his deductible, if Senate 517 passes, would be that amount, the $270 or the $370. It would only be the amount by which he is over $2,130. I literally had a case with a guy in, uh, or a person in Hudson who was living at home. He was homebound. He was in a wheelchair. He was having real problems um, and really needed the frail elder waiver. Otherwise, he had to go to a nursing home because of the amount of services that he needed, right? But he had Social Security income, and he was $10 over, right? $10 over. As a result, he had to go to the nursing home. Because he, because he, had, he would otherwise he would have had to have spent. Remember, we talked about the deductible, all of his income above five hundred and twenty-two dollars a month, to on the deductible. He wouldn't have had anything left to pay the rent or to buy the food or any of this. So Senator Eldridge's bill, which is currently in the Health Care Finance Committee, would change that, right? And we're really trying to advocate for that. I just interviewed Senator Eldridge on a on a on a, a cable show that I do, and and hopefully that, that that's the way that'll change. So. If you want any more information on any of this, you have the information on our YouTube channel. I would bet that this program will be downloaded over the next several weeks if you're interested in seeing it again. But remember, the goal of life is to sleep well at night. That's the goal of all these presentations. We're not trying to sell you anything. We're not trying to tell you there's a particular program you should use. But we're trying to make sure that you know your options so that you can plan and sleep well at night. Thank you very much.